The Tulsa 66ers made a return trip to the Bismarck Civic Center Friday night after splitting two games with Dakota in early December. Wizards jump on top right away as Edwin Ubelis drains his three-pointer to give Dakota an early lead, and Dakota led 30-23 at the end of one. In the second, Jerome Dyson drains this three to pull Tulsa within 10 at 46-36. Mo Baker makes this scoop shot at the end of the quarter, and Dakota led 59-45 at the break. Mike Anderson cleans up the Patrick Sanders miss with the flush, and the Wizards led 80-69 after three. Tulsa makes a comeback in the fourth as Robert Baden converts this early basket to pull within six. The White Bike scores two of his team high 23 and would cut the lead to 95-93. Next Tulsa possession, Jerome Dyson would convert the end one to tie the game at 95, and that's how regulation would end. In the first overtime, with Tulsa down by one, Curtis Sumter hits his only field goal of the game to give Tulsa a 101-99 lead. With nine-tenths of a second on the clock, Mike Anderson would hit this fallaway jumper to send it into a second overtime. Mo Baker hits this fallaway in the second overtime to give Dakota a 105-101 lead. Dakota would convert free throws down the stretch and win a thriller 113-109 in double overtime Friday night at the Bismarck Civic Center.